Hello everyone, in this question, two right angle triangles are arranged in this way and the length of this sky blue line segment is given 2 unit and the length of this blue line segment is given 10 unit and the length of this green line segment is given 5 unit then we have to find this shaded region area that is this pink region area we have to find ok so to find this shaded region area first I will consider this point as a, a B C D and this is as a E now we can see that ACB is a right angle triangle so by using Pythagoras theorem in triangle ACB we can write AB equal to under root AB is a hypotenuse for triangle ACB so we can write AB equal to AC square plus BC square we can write AC is 10 unit according to question and BC is 5 so 5 square which will be in under root 10 square is 100 5 square is 25 which is an under root so this value will be what under root 125 so AB is equal to 1 under root 125 and also we can write here EB equal to in triangle AEB AEB triangle we can write EB equal to under root here for triangle AEB AB is a hypotenuse so we can write EB equal to AB square minus A square we can write AB is we have just calculated under root 125 so this is square minus a is 2 so 2 is square which is in under root under root 125 square is 125 2 is square is 4 which will be in under root and this will be equal to under root 121 which is equal to 11 so ev length will be equal to 11 ok now we can see here triangle AED and triangle DCB both are similar triangle why this two triangle are similar you can see here if we consider this this is a AED is a right angle triangle this means this E angle is 90 degree and C angle is also 90 degree here so if we consider this angle as alpha then this angle will also be alpha by vertically opposite angle and if we consider this angle beta then this angle will also be beta because alpha plus beta will be complementary angle so here also alpha plus beta is complementary means those angle two angles whose sum is 90 degree is called complementary angle so this sum is 90 and this is 90 so 180 so in this way we can see that by angle 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 this two triangle will be similar so using similar properties we can write here angle opposite to this alpha angle or you can say beta angle for triangle a ed is ed for triangle a ed and also angle opposite to beta angle in triangle dcb is cd so we can write cd and angle opposite to alpha in triangle ADE is A. Also, angle opposite to alpha in triangle DCB is CB. So we can write here ED over CD equal to A is a 2 and CB is a 5. So we can write and this will be the required equation. We will use this later, you can see. Now, if we consider area of triangle AED as a P square unit and also if we consider area for triangle ADC, ADBE as a Q square unit and also if we consider for triangle DCB as a R square unit area then we can write here P 
पी प्लस क्यू एरिया इक्वल टू पी प्लस क्यू एरिया विल बी एरिया ऑफ ट्राइंगल ए बी दिस इज अ राइट एंगल ट्राइंगल एक्चुअली सो वी कैन राइट वन बाई टू बेस इन टू हाइट बेस विल बी ई बी एंड हाइट विल बी ए दैट इज वन बाई टू ई बी वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड जस्ट कैलकुलेट इलेवन एंड ए इज अ टू सो टू टू गेट कैंसल सो इलेवन विल बी द एरिया पी प्लस क्यू एंड ऑल्सो इफ वी फाइंड एरिया ऑफ ट्राइंगल दैट इज क्यू प्लस आर एरिया यू कैन से Q plus R area is the area of triangle ACB, which is right angle triangle. So we can write one by two. Base base will be AC, and height will be BC. AC is a ten unit according to question, and BC is a five according to question. This will be twenty five. So if we erase this. then we can write q plus r area will be as a 25 and also we can write p plus q area as a 11 unit square okay now if we consider this as a first and this as a second and if we do second minus first then we can write here R minus P equal to fourteen. Twenty five minus eleven is fourteen. Because if we subtract, then Q Q get cancelled, so we will get R minus P equal to fourteen. Okay. Now, after that, if we write here, that is P area over R area in this way. If we write. that is ratio of p area and r area p is a right angle triangle area a e d so we can write 1 by 2 base will be 4 e d and height will be a e and also for r 1 by 2 base will be c t and height will be b c and you can see that value of a is given 2 unit and bc value is given 5 unit this 1 by 2 1 by 2 get cancel and we can write ed over cd value that is 2 2 over 4 2 over 5 and this value also 2 over 5 that is 4 over 25 Which is is equal to P over R. So we can write R equal to twenty five P over four. Now I will use this R value for this equation. That is, we can write twenty five P over four minus P equal to fourteen. Then we can write twenty five P. Minus four p that is twenty one p over four equal to fourteen fourteen seven two za seven three za so we can write p equal to eight over three. Now I will put the value of p in this equation first. That is we can write q equal to from first. Eleven minus p. P value is eight over three, so this will be thirty-three minus eight over three, that is twenty-five by three. Will be the required answer for this question. Q area will be equal to what? Twenty-five over three, and Q is the area of this shaded region, so that's why this will be the answer. Thanks for watching this video, and please like, share, and subscribe this channel also.